<sighs> it's some more fakeness. Moment of truth. To administer the oath to our first African American, our first Asian American, and our first woman vice president, Kamala Harris, it is my great privilege to welcome to the inaugural stage the first Latina to ever serve on the Supreme Court of the United States of America, Justice Sonia Sotomayor. Fakeness. Watch her do a little white girl hair to the back shit. <laughs> See ya. Fuck her hair. <laughs> against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the state. I like how she threw in there against all enemies, foreign and domestic, because she knows she got enemies that's here domestic, right here in this country, such as the deep state, which she's part of. So are you going to crack down on your own self and your buddies? No. But anyway. That I take this obligation freely, that I take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, that I will well and faithfully discharge, that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which I am about to enter, the duties of the office on which I am about to enter. So You don't even believe in God. You believe in Vishnu and Brahma and, and um, <laughs> the Hindu gods. You're from India. Cut that bullshit out. Well, uh, she had to say hello to her hoe. Yeah, Joe, we did it. Her pimp, I meant. Yeah, Joe. We did it. <laughs> you Obama bitch ass up there. The Mike Pence bitch ass, too. <clears throat> I knew that nigga Pence was gonna jump the fence. He ain't hold it down with Trump. Nigga, they cheated you out of your election too, nigga. But I guess Pence was a bitch, nigga. He rolled with them niggas. They probably put that sword over his head, like, look, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You want another Kennedy to pop off in this bitch? You better, you better do what we need you to do, nigga. So, I already knew he was gonna be down with the bullshit. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Please be seated. Now we're about to sing our bullshit ass, uh, what they said, the oath of office bullshit, what are they gonna say now? Please welcome Jennifer Lopez to perform This Land is Your Land at America the Beautiful. Jennifer Company Lopez. Yeah. Of the Zone United States Marine Band. Let's look at her fat ass now and forget about all the bullshit we just, uh, bared witness to. Yeah. I'm still chanting from the black. I don't need that shit. Yeah, that's nice. For President elect, this is the first inauguration in the history of America where J Lo was the warm up act. For Chief Justice Roberts. Exactly. Uh, with that, exactly. And she joked about that shit because she knew it was serious. Like, since when J Lo is the. You know what I mean? They got Lady Gaga singing the fucking um, national anthem. Like, come on, man. This is a fucking clown show. Honor to introduce Honor. the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States, John Roberts, to admit. See, but, and the reason why she laughed about it, too, because she knows in her mind that. That's all entertainment. Us so-called minorities, people of color, are simply here to entertain them and, um, you know, keep them entertained. So while they handle all the serious business, you know, so uh, getting down to business, some more blah, blah, blah from this bitch right here. 
administer the presidential oath to the next president of the United States, Joseph R. Biden. That's bitch ass nigga. Somebody wake that nigga up. Where that nigga at? He in the back somewhere sleeping. Look at that nigga. Yeah, the oath of office. Blah, blah, blah. Do you, do you swear to incriminate yourself right now? Um, <laughs> by uh, basically telling on yourself because everything you take oath to, you have broken it already? Well, uh, he was about to put his left hand up there, stupid ass nigga. <laughs> he can't even say his own name. His wife looking at him like, you're doing good, Joe. Don't mess up. <laughs> Come on, you're doing good, Joe. You're almost there. You're almost there. Remember we practiced it last night? You're almost there. <laughs> Preserve, protect, and defend. Preserve, protect, and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. So help you God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. President. Well, that nigga sweating bullets. Like, ooh, we pulled this shit off. Gave his wife a fake-ass kiss because he don't love that bitch. He fucking Kamala. Shut up, nigga. Yeah, Dad, you did it. You did it, Dad. Well, he kissed his son on the mouth. Kiss his son more than he kissed his wife. Dang it, ass nigga. Blah, 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 blah. Ain't nobody popped that nigga yet. About to get up there and make a moment we have all been uh, waiting for. Is the nigga gonna speak? It is now my great privilege and high honor to be the first person to officially introduce the president Donald Trump. He's back in the building. Fuck y'all niggas. Y'all thought I lost nigga all back, bitch. <laughs> 46th president uh, of the United States, Joseph R. Biden Jr. Yeah, gang, me, bang, bang, yeah. All right, y'all. The devil is in office. This nigga about to fuck some more shit up. Just to let y'all know, them vaccines about to be mandatory. Chief Justice Roberts. And uh, China is right. communist. Right. China is about to infiltrate. Hard body. Speaker Pelosi, Leader Schumer, Leader McConnell, Vice President Pence, hey, my hey, uh, distinguished guests, my fellow Americans, this is America's day. This is democracy's day. A day of history and hope, of renewal and resolve. Through a crucible for the ages, America has been tested anew, and America has risen to the challenge. Today, we celebrate the triumph not of a candidate, but of a cause, the cause of democracy. The people, the will of the people, has been heard, and the will of the people has been heeded. We've learned again that democracy is precious, democracy is fragile, and at this hour, my friends, <sighs> democracy has prevailed. Really? How to raise your credit scores instantly over the republic for which it stands? Add your phone and Democracy has your prevailed. Hit the boot really? Button. So isn't that a isn't that a governmental overthrow within itself? I mean, really, this is about Trump trying to do a coup. This country is not a so-called democracy. It's supposed to be a republic. It's foundation. You know what I'm Under God, indivisible. Yeah. Carry out the peaceful transfer of yeah. power. Why didn't he say that liberty and justice for all shit? Because he know it ain't liberty and justice for all. Why didn't you finish it, nigga? Probably forgot, stupid ass nigga. 
As you look ahead in our uniquely American way, restless, bold, optimistic, and set our sights on a nation we know we can be and we must be. Oh, God. A sacred oath each of those patriots have taken. The oath first born by George Washington. But the American story depends not on any one of us, not on some of us, but on all of us. Oh we, yeah, the people, yeah, yeah, the truth up, in this winter of peril and significant possibility. Millions of jobs have been lost. How long this thing goes for? Hundreds of thousands yeah. of businesses closed. The cry for racial justice some 400 years in the making moves us. The dream of justice for all will be deferred no longer. So what, you gonna get reparations for black people after 400 years? Because uh, I just seen some shit where this nigga said, I'll be damned if I get blamed for what happened 300 years ago. So what are you gonna do about the 400 year uh, holocaust or black holocaust that been going on? Oh, man. Stop the oh, I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna put a bunch of black, black and uh, brown people in high positions to make it seem like black people are being successful and they're really part of this country. But these are specifically hand-picked Negroes that we're going to have, uh, you know, before the public's eye. So it makes it seem like, you know, you know, yeah, everything, everybody's equal now. Yeah, you know, see, you guys got jobs and, you know, everything's equal. Bullshit. Plan in itself, a cry that can't be any more desperate or any more clear oh, now. Shut up. And my whole soul is in it. The forces that divide us are deep and they are real. The deep state? But I also is that know what you're talking about? They are not new. Oh. Our history has been a constant struggle between the American ideal that we all are created equal and the harsh, ugly reality of racism, nativism, fear, demonization, domination. In the 1993 crime bill that you passed, has really been fucking black people up for so long. Oh my God. A state of chaos. This is our historic moment of crisis and challenge. And you can prepare for it. You can always talk in this unity this shit, nigga. Shut Look, that nigga checking his phone and shit. Like, nigga, whatever, nigga. Next. <laughs> We have never Next. had a zone, as was mentioned earlier, completed a major civil war. Now that we've helped you to customize and save with Liberty Mutual, we can finally do some beach reading. Yeah. <laughs> and the union itself was literally hanging in the back. Never happened. Not today. Not tomorrow. Not Ever. Yeah, yeah, tell him, yeah. I pledge this to you. I will be a president for all Americans. Oh, all really? Americans. Oh, really? And I promise you, I will fight as hard for those. Now, I bet you he going to get around to everybody before he get around to black people. We're going to be the last on the list to get some specific issues addressed. Who did not support me as for those who did. Because remember, Kamala Harris said, oh, am I going to do anything specifically for black people? No. That's what she said out of her mouth. So, I don't know if y'all think they expect anything coming from the president. If she ain't going to do nothing, what are you going to do? Nothing. Many centuries but this is the nigga she worked for. St. Augustine, a saint of my church, wrote to the people was a multitude Defined by the common objects of their love. Defined by the common objects of Shut up, nigga. If Come on, how long this nigga gonna talk, man? Come on, I wanna hear that corny shit, but nigga. Today's and tomorrow's challenges. Yeah. The chapter in the history of the United States of America, the American story. Yeah. That America secured liberty at home. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. We know. Shut your gay ass up, nigga. 
Lady Gaga looking jealous like, damn, this nigga's killing it right now. This nigga shit is better than my shit. Get it together. I don't know shit. The black woman gonna get up there and say some powerful words now. Now she gotta motivate black people, make us feel like we part of this country, and we actually gonna get something out of this. Mr. President, Dr. Biden, Madam Vice President, Mr. Emhoff, Americans, and the world. When day comes, we ask ourselves, where can we find light in this never-ending shade? The loss, we carry a sea we must wade. We braved the belly of the beast. We've learned that quiet isn't always sweet. And the norms and notions of what just is, isn't always just it. And yet, the dawn is ours before we knew it. Somehow we do it. Somehow we weathered. Bro, like Kamala look at hate. She ain't and she like, damn, she's speaking some real shit. You know what I'm saying? Kamala ain't gonna get up there and talk no real powerful black woman shit. She's so called black to get up there and say something deep. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Like Kamala Harris is supposed to be a black woman and get up there and say something deep. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? We don't hear that corny, scripted, political bullshit. Say something deep. Touch our soul. She a black woman. God damn it. Say, say something deep. And witness a nation that isn't broken, but simply unfinished. We, the successors of a country and a time where a skinny black girl descended from slaves and raised by a single mother can dream of becoming president only to find herself reciting her work. And yes, we are mm -hmm. Exactly. Far Talk about Kamala. <laughs> she can only find herself reciting. Exactly. Saying that scripted political shit they want you to say, bitch. You ain't saying nothing deep. You ain't moving the crowd. You ain't busting no grapes. You know what I'm saying, bitch? You ain't doing nothing. You just sitting there being the white man's whore. Smiling all the fucking time in the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck out of here. See, the proof is in the pudding, y'all. You just gotta analyze shit. From his scheme, but that doesn't mean we are striving to form a union that is perfect. We are striving to forge a union with purpose to compose a country committed to all cultures, colors, characters, and conditions of man. And so we lift our gaze not to what stands between us, but what stands before us, we close the divide because we know to put our future first, we must first put our differences aside. We lay down our arms so we can reach out our arms to one another. We seek harm to none and harmony for all. Let the globe, if nothing Hold else, up. Um, say this. It doesn't look like they're socially distancing in that crowd right there. Are they? Aren't they breaking the rules? Aren't they, aren't they the same people that tell us to be socially distancing and six feet apart and all that shit? Them people don't look like they're socially distancing right now. So is there going to be a new spread of corona after this inauguration? Oh my gosh, look at this. This could be, this could be potential damage. Everybody could be catching corona right now. Let me not interrupt this black woman's speech. Pardon me, y'all. It's true. Uh, but even as we grieve, we brood, and even as we hurt, we hope that even as we tired, we try that we'll forever be tied together victorious, not because we will never again know defeat, but because we will never again sow division. Scripture tells us to envision that everyone shall sit under their own vine and fig tree, and no one shall make them afraid. If we're to live up to our own time, then victory won't lie in the blade, but in all the bridges we've made. That is the promise of laid, the hill we climb, if only we bear it. Because being American is more than a pride we inherit. It's the past we step into and how we repair it. We've seen a force that would shatter our nation rather than share it would destroy our country if it meant delaying democracy. 
Mm. No, that's bullshit. That's not true. That's a half truth. <clears throat> because you're trying to say that, oh, what, Trump's trying to bring this country back to the republic for which it stands is getting in the way of democracy. Democracy is a fucking illusion, young lady, if you didn't know. And um, everybody else should know that it's nothing but a false illusion of inclusion to make us think that we're part of the political process. And that's why I said this young lady's about to get up here and say some deep words and make us feel like we're part of America and we deserve, we're about to get something out of this and da 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 So... You know, here comes the bullshit again. See, I could predict everything before they even say it. I didn't watch this before. I'm going through it right now. Like, you know, but all this stuff is predictable because they're so predictable. Like, come on, y'all don't see the game they've been running for so far? In this faith we trust, for while we have our eyes on the future, our history has its eyes on us. This is the era of just redemption. We fear that at conception we did not feel prepared to be the heirs of such a terrifying hour, but within it we found the power to author a new chapter, to offer hope and laughter to ourselves. So, while once we asked, how could we possibly prevail over catastrophe? Now we assert, how could catastrophe possibly prevail over us? That's one of them old, educated white women. Like, yeah, she's speaking the truth. She's right. She's right. Yeah. You know? See, we need more women like her. I wish I was black and beautiful and brave like her. Maybe I would say something like that. permanently defeated in this truth in this faith we trust for while we have our eyes on the future our history has its eyes on us this is the era of just redemption we fear that at conception we did not feel prepared to be the heirs of such a terrifying hour but within it we found the power to author a new chapter to offer hope and laughter to ourselves so while once we asked, how could we possibly prevail over catastrophe? Now we assert, how could catastrophe possibly prevail over us? Oh, man. Oh. I don't like that shit, man. We will not march back to what was, but move to what shall be a country that is bruised, but whole, benevolent, but bold, fierce, and free. We will not be turned around or interrupted by intimidation, because we know our inaction and inertia will be the inheritance of the next generation. Our blunders become their burdens, but one thing is certain. If we merge mercy with might, and the might is right, then love becomes our legacy and change our children's birthright. So let us leave behind a country better than the one we were left with every breath from our bronze pounded chest. We will raise this wounded world into a wondrous one. We will rise from the goldland hills of the west. We will rise from the windswept northeast where our forefathers first realized revolution. We will rise from the lake wind cities of the midwestern states. We will rise from the sun baked south. We will build, reconcile, and recover in every known nook of our nation in every corner called our country, our people diverse and beautiful will emerge battered and beautiful when they come to step out of the shade of flame and unafraid, the new dawn blooms as we free it for there was always light if only we're brave enough to see it, if only we're brave enough to be it.
Thank you, Amanda Gorman. Now for a benediction, I'm pleased to introduce Reverend Dr. Sylvester Beeman, the pastor of the Bethel African Methodist Episcopal Church. You know they always do that. After they bring on a black woman to speak some powerful words, then they always bring on some reverend to tell us about Jesus and how we need to keep holding on and things is going to get better and our blessing is coming and see, I believe in the Lord and see, and da, 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 well, that's what this nigga about to do. Oh my gosh. And you know what too? I can show you on this, um, on this, um, train I got on my page at this, uh, Brentwood Library. This black woman looked very similar to this black woman right here. She got up there. She spoke this deep poem. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, so forth and so forth. And then right after that, they put this, um, you know, pastor dude up there in a tub and, and, and cut us all back into that wait on Jesus mode. Because, you know, when, when you speak black power shit, that puts you in the mode of black power. Like, yeah, we going to do something. We going to make this shit happen. But then right after that, they come with the whole Jesus shit to calm that whole black power spirit down and whitewash you with the, the white Jesus spirit. And just just sit back and pray and wait on Jesus. He gonna handle it all. And blah, blah, blah. Now watch this coon ass nigga get up there and do that. Yeah, you know. Praise the Lord, y'all. God, you us unto the beauty of your holiness uh, and the holiness of your beauty. See, under you the, your face. See what I'm talking about? Under. You smile. So all that black you power shit face. just goes out the window now. We petition you once more you know, in this celebration. We pray it's for God's time God now. And our president, Joseph R. Biden. See that? And, and then they get the black man to bring the praises of God on the white man. Like, really? Like, why ain't they do that themselves? They not godly people. They can't do it themselves. This lady. Really? Dr. Jill Biden and their family. We further ask that you would extend the same favor upon our vice president, Kamala D. Harris, and our second gentleman, Doug Imhoff, and their family. More than ever, more than ever, they and our nation need you. Nigga, we need you. Shut up. For in you we discover our common humanity. So what? And our God is going to work through Joe Biden and Kamala Harris to make this a, a greater nation. <laughs> like, really? Come on, man. Fuck out of here, nigga. Common humanity. We will seek out the wounded. Yeah. And buying their wounds. We were like, nigga, and plus, like, who was you, nigga? You just some random preacher, nigga, getting up there talking about like, you're not even known, nigga. Like, you're not even, like, T.D. Jakes or somebody, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, who was you, nigga? <laughs> Get out of here, man. Healing Come for on, those nigga, man. who are sick and diseased. This, this new nigga. <laughs> Don't trust the new, new niggas over there. there. <laughs> we will befriend the lonely, the least, and the left out. We will share our abundance with those who are hungry. Mm -hmm. For the national good and become a beacon for those who recently received their citizenship. From the African American to those oh, whose parents came from Europe Shut and every corner of the globe. From the wealthy to those struggling to make it. Oh, shit. Every human being, regardless of their choices, that this is our country. As mm -hmm. such, teach us, O oh God. As such, teach us, O oh God. Who told us, nigga, that shit, it, nigga? <laughs> love in it. Be healed in it. And reconcile to one another in it. Lest we miss the common goal. For your glory, majesty, dominion, and power forever. Hallelujah. Collective Amen. Please remain standing as we all.
Thank you. Sarah Gray retired. Our national colors. That ain't the corniest shit I ever seen, man. That shit was black as fuck. Dun -dun -dun. Sold ass nigga. Your ushers will release your session in an organized manner. Yeah, organized manner. Don't you niggas wild out, okay? Uh, well, that, that's all, folks. <laughs> Show's over. Sleepy Joe's going home to get some sleep. Got a busy day tomorrow. Signing all those executive orders he's supposed to sign. Now, I wonder what these executive orders is going to be. If that shit is not immediately handling this so-called pandemic, a.k.a. plandemic, it basically, it goes to show you that his interest was not for the American people. Because guess what? The American people didn't even put him in office. You know who put him in office? All these communist freaking governments and foreign governments that have interest in his campaign. And that's who he's working for. So these executive orders he's about to sign is going to be benefiting them. Let's see what benefits the people. You know what I'm saying? Because as far as that stimulus money and all that, Corona money and all that, that got to come from the federal government, you know what I'm saying, I mean, yeah, which he, you know, he's, you know, whatever, but, all in all, I ain't going back to the debate. But yeah, but anyway, you know, say so. You're going to see where all his uh, allegiance lies, you know what I'm saying? And so what he's going to be um, promoting toward, you know what I'm saying? He's going to be promoting to uh, all the agendas of all the people that got him in office, basically. You know what I mean? So, you'll see. Anyway, that was the inauguration, y'all. Commented, commented by uh, Lord Messiah. Guess we'll tune in tomorrow to see about those uh, executive orders. Peace, y'all.